Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Border City Rock Talk. We get great news, great interviews, great interviewees with sometimes a comedic touch. Make sure you hit that guitar uh, logo thingy on your right, the subscribe button. Make sure you like the uh, video as well as uh, hit the notification bell. And please leave comments so that we know what you think of the interviews. Today I've got Bobby Amaru from Saliva. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing good, man. Just hanging. Yeah, it looks like you're here. chilling. Yeah, I'm in my back porch. I'm in Florida. Uh, it's windy. I didn't realize it was so windy out, out today. Yeah, it's hard but. to hear you. So definitely it's windy if you could speak up just a bit. So I've got Bobby on today because um, obviously you you released High on Me uh, in November, correct? Yeah, we did, we put it out online in November. Right. Um, and, then, and then we went to radio with it. Yeah. It's like really YouTube taken video. off. Uh, YouTube's got about a quarter of a million views. I just looked. And then uh, we're looking at a million streams to Rock Radio. And that was just uh, uh, released. The Rock Radio chart, I think, a million streams. So from what I understand, that's when the pennies and the coin starts to click in after a million streams. Am I right? Or I'm just a lay person. I don't know. Man, <laughs> I don't know when the money starts to come in. I mean, does it? <laughs> Does it ever, uh, you know, I think, um, yeah, that's not really the, you know, my thing. It's more of, I think what that song's about is, is a song that was honest lyrically and about somebody with a, a, a bad addiction, you know, that they, um, you know, re relationship, um, with someone who has those, you know, addictions that they have a hard time, yeah. uh, kicking and, uh, you know, for me, I'm all about people connecting with the song. Perfect. You know, they connect with the song and somebody tells me that song, they feel something, they love that song. That's more than money to me. You know, I I, I just like, I just like writing great music, man, and just want people to relate to it. So. That's great, man. You mean you want to relate, you want people to take something away. And um, where I live in Ontario, I'm on the border with our fine uh, friends in Michigan, but um, the community I live in, which is roughly about 100,000, there's a huge opioid addiction, uh, especially the last three or four years. But that's what the song's about uh, specifically, correct? Yes. And it's funny because the girl that played played the uh, the girl in the video, she's a, a dear friend of mine I've known since we were like 15. And um, she had her bad struggles with that stuff. Uh, you, you know, she's sober now. And... and um, I I wanted to bring somebody in the video that could like relive that almost like, you know, it's, you know, turn it uh, like a nightmare, you'd say. Yeah. Um, it's like, you know, re revisiting your bottom and realizing, okay, I'm not there. I don't want to ever go back there. Right. Right. That, and that's, and we had some people, you know, they saw the video, they're like, why is the band not in the video? And for me, it's like my vision for it was, I think if you put the band in it with instruments jumping around and stuff, it takes away from the connection of, of what the song's about lyrically. Yeah. Um, and I didn't want it to be about a band, you know, in the video. I wanted it to be more personable. Um, I, and I felt like people who actually have been through that and have struggled and continue to, they could watch the video and they're like, that's me or that was me. Like, you know, and they're more, more focused on um, trying to overcome their own, Perfect. So, yeah, it's, it's, you guys are very unselfish in that way because um, it's not you were thinking it's not about us. It's like maybe us through because we have a platform of uh, media and music. Um, we can have a message that people can see and maybe help someone. So that's uh, that's really awesome, man. Um, you guys are going to be touring. I think you start on the 17th. How many shows is in that run and who's going to be uh, um, on the bill with you? So we're going out uh, through fire, and in any given sin, they are um, supporting the run, uh, which is going to be a good run, man. We're stoked. I mean, it's been a minute. We haven't played since December. Well, we did the um, hashtag happens 
convention in Vegas uh, last week. Right. Um, but that was that was like you know a lot of radio people and stuff. Would uh, we played with Daughtry? That was awesome though. Yeah. Um, but we haven't played really at all. So it's gonna it's gonna be great to get back out. And then hit some some of these uh, great markets and um, you know a lot of great rooms on this tour. So we're stoked. Awesome. Um, and so there's news um, I've heard through the grapevine. Um, you guys are going down. Is it down under for Japan? I don't know. It's just far away. So you're you're going to be hitting Japan. I I understand. Yeah, we're going to go to Okinawa. We're going to do a, a Air Force Air Force uh, show, Air Force Base um the military deal it's gonna be awesome wow so, um have you ever done one of those shows for the um the the military yeah we've done a few different military uh shows um the last one we did was in uh dubai or abu dhabi we did wow. that first there which is great that's far away too so that, yeah i know well i live in a far away country but i mean our country is so far away from one coast to, to the other there's i think we have six time zones but so suffice it to say i'm sure that when you guys do the military base it's not going to resemble the spinal tap military base show that they did do you remember that scene oh my god yes yes yeah <laughs> that was great it, uh, that that move that movie is epic man oh man it's uh it's like seinfeld i can watch spinal tap over about 50 times a uh, thousand times and Still laugh at the same jokes, right? It's one of those things. And the funny yeah. thing was, when I saw that movie, um, and I started to realize that um, Michael McKeon and um, who's the other guy? Uh, Christopher Guest. They can shred, right, on their instruments. I, they're they're not. I, they weren't just actors. They know how to play. So, I think what made what made it great though was just their delivery on it and you knew you know when you watch it it's it's total just comedy and it's they're being funny you know but how how they're acting so serious and and just the way they delivered those roles man i don't think anybody else could have done them like that well you know i've interviewed paul shortino but i also interviewed harry Shear, who played Derek uh, smalls right yeah, and I asked him about that because I didn't realize the difference between ad libbing and all that stuff. And he told me it was called improvisation. So they have a scenario, they read a paragraph of what the scene's supposed to be like. They don't have lines in front of them. They, they the the paragraph says this is where we want to take it, and these guys are so brilliant that that's just off the top of their heads. And when I couldn't believe that, I was amazing. Yeah. Impro improvising man i mean i think some of the that's what makes a great actor being able to do that you know and, and so i know there are actors that depend on lines and are great at that but there yeah. are some that just improvise so well yeah you know yeah. So, so you guys are also dropping an album in the summer is there anything you can tell us about that how many tracks has it been uh is it finished is it in the mixing process anything like that guest appearances on it I like got the last two mixes. Um, we picked from thirty six songs, so wow. yeah, it's it's a lot, man. And, and let me tell you, that's been the hardest part is narrowing it down to like twelve tracks, you know. So we, I mean, we have enough material for for three records, man. So. Well, you can you can pull an Iron Maiden and uh, you know put two together, make one eight minute song. <laughs> yeah, I you know I thought about something like that, but just it just feels I don't know, man. Such a singles world right now, it and is. I mean I don't like that. I don't like it, but I you know it's not my choice. So um, yeah, we we still put out records though. We want to put out records for the fans for people who like like it. Yeah. So I feel like you're gonna get twelve. You're gonna to get twelve fucking great songs. That's yeah. Well, oh, I, I there's can gonna imagine be, with the talent and there's gonna be some sure. for everybody. Pick, yeah. Picking and and I don't even think. I mean, it's crazy because I was talking to our manager about it. I said, "Man, just knowing that we have some of these other songs in our back pocket for like a year or two down the road, because some of those songs are like sounds like a smash, man. But we can't just put 
all these smashes on a record. You don't want to do anything. Yeah, you, know? you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, as the cliche is. Right. You know? but, yeah. But you don't want to put out crap songs either, man. We don't. No. I just, I typically, if I feel like something isn't going a certain direction or feels stale or starts to bore bore me, then we'll just, we move on to something else. Right. So, well, but, the fans appreciate yeah. it, right? Because, you know, People want to listen to your best, and if you and and you know, uh, honest musician isn't going to put out crap just to make a few bucks on a tour. So yeah, all the saliva fans are in for a treat, I'm sure. Right. Well, keep in mind we haven't put out a full length since 2018, so it's been about five years since we put out a full record. Yeah. Yeah. So this we've had time to to make it to make right, one. Right. So well, and we made three in that process. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks a lot, Bobby. I know you've got yeah. some other uh, things to do. Um, I appreciate it. Thanks, Shauna O'Donnell, for uh, setting this up. Oh, before I forget, um, what is the opposite of unsubscribe? Subscribe. Do as Bobby from Saliva says and subscribe to this channel. You get great news, great interviews, great interviewees with sometimes a comedic touch. Once again, my friend, thanks a lot. Thank you, buddy. Cheers.